Since his arrival in the UFC, Zabit Magomed Sharapov has captured the attention of MMA fans around the world. With his incredibly diverse and exciting fighting style, it's been quite a journey so far for the once number four ranked UFC contender at featherweight. Unfortunately for us fans, however, his time as a fighter has come to an end as he has recently informed the UFC of his retirement. So let's take this moment to reflect a bit on the history of one of Russia's brightest young talent. Zabit's professional MMA career began on May 9th, 2012, when he dispatched Zuma Geldi Zetbisbaev via third round TKO. But prior to all that, the Kasavir Dagestan native had to acquire all those great skills that we've seen him put to action each and every time out in the UFC. Zabit has a unique background as a Wushu Sanda practitioner, also known as Sanshu. The origin of the martial art comes from the Chinese military as it is based in the study and practices of traditional Kung Fu while mixed with modern combat fighting techniques. The most accomplished student of Sanda in MMA is unsurprisingly the lone former Chinese UFC champion, Zhang Wei Li. But it's quite common in general for Chinese martial artists to partake in the practice. In learning the art, Zabit honed his skills at the Five Shields of World Boarding School, which is also known as the Shaolin of Dagestan. The name was created by Gwesin Magomayev, the headmaster, as well as who UFC welterweight Muslim Salikov describes as a philosopher. Salikov detailed the name coming from the symbol of the school being a pyramid, which has four edges at the bottom, pointing north, south, east, and west, while the top of it points to space. The full meaning, however, goes a lot deeper than just this appearance. After graduating from the school located up in the mountains of Dagestan, Zabit moved to Makachkala to begin his trainings with the Dagestan fighter team. Zabit started all of his training camps there before or finishing things up in the United States with coach Mark Henry at Ricardo Almeida BJJ in New Jersey. At the Shaolin of Dagestan, under the tutelage of the unheralded Gusin Magomayev, Zabit trained with many great athletes for six days and weeks alongside his younger 21-year-old brother, Kassan. Kassan made his amateur MMA debut in September of 2018 and won the fight with a spinning wheel kick knockout. He's gone 7-0 since Zabit last fought and also trains with coach Mark Henry and the company. As mentioned, Zabit isn't the only UFC fighter to have gone through the five sides of the world, as Selikov also did so and has had great success in his combat sports career. So much so that he's more popular in China after becoming the world's first king of kung fu that wasn't from China. When seeing Zabit's continued success, Salikov wasn't at all surprised. In Russia, the absolute championship Berkut, abbreviated ACB, has been a very notable promotion for building up the country's best talents. A good example of this could be Magomed Tiger Magomedov, the first man to defeat the former UFC champion Peter Yan. Along with Magomed, his teammate at the Dagestan Fighters team, Zabit would be no different as the featherweight signed on with ACB in 2014 after getting his record to 6-1. It wouldn't be long until he was getting a gold belt wrapped around his waist. In total, Zabit went 6-0 in ACB before getting his call to the UFC. He finished all six of these fights with four knockouts and two submissions. Instantly, the 26-year-old had made his presence felt with his flashy techniques and ability to dazzle the crowd, all while delivering damage to his opponents, of course. His UFC debut win over Mike Santiago would be the first of his final six-fight winning streak in the organization. The once top contender at featherweight had his last fight against Calvin Guitar in November of 2019, picking up another big win to further solidify his spot in the ring. The encounter with the Bostonian acted as Zabit first fight in Russia since his last ACB bout, something that the UFC didn't want for Zabit unless it was a pay-per-view event. Instead, after the two got moved off of UFC Boston and UFC Moscow lost its main event between Alexander Volkov and Junior Dos Santos, Zabit got to make a dream come true. Still, at just 31 years old, Zabit Magomed Sharapov holds an impressive record of 18-1 and, and found himself knocking on the door of a title shot. He has since revealed his pursuits of a career in the medical field, which is indeed admirable. But for the MMA community, he will go down as one of the biggest what-if stories ever, if not the biggest.